Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Doctor Who review. Today I'm going to review the Doctor Who movie, which released back in 1996, which is kind of weird and kind of interesting because that was the time that Doctor Who got cancelled. Back in 1989, Doctor Who got cancelled and uh, after 16 years it got back on the t telly on the TV and uh, with a brand new series with Christopher Eccleston as a ninth Doctor, but as you probably know, like I said, this is a Doctor Who movie, this one released in 1996. So, what happened between that cancellation, like the 16 years of cancellation? I'm going to sing off the intro, cause I don't want copyright claim. Alright, to do 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 Starring Paul McGann as the Doctor. They released a movie which was a partner with a uh, partner up with like was it uh, Fox or whatever or you know uh, or Universal I think Universal I might be it yeah so Universal and the BBC did partnership and made Doctor Who movie after a, a while a bit or two years uh, two years of discussions or something like that so. It is back now, and Doctor Who has a has a movie or had a movie uh, released, which was interesting. It follows the seventh Doctor, played by Sylvester McCoy, and also uh, he was the Doctor that you know the the show got ended with, so it makes sense. So he is back as the seventh Doctor, Sylvester McCoy, and um, it's narrated by the new current Doctor, the eighth Doctor. That's uh, his regeneration actually was kind of like. Um, the problem is Sylvester McCoy and like the master, the master who also appeared in season 26 um, had uh, put, has been put on trial by the Daleks and got defeated by the Daleks and now the seventh doctor needed to make sure that his remains went and uh, got back to, to Gallifrey so there you go but on the way there you know the master escapes, seventh doctor lands on earth, gets shot by some gang people, I don't know but he generates into uh, the eighth doctor in a uh, so sort of like um, not really like a place where people dead people are like you know that place. Uh, so there we go. It's a great scene to be honest, where he regenerates and it's kind of linked with the Frankenstein's transformation where he gets you know alive, which is really cool in my opinion. So there we go. There are a lot of different things. I really like this Doctor Who movie because there are certain shots that are framed perfectly and some things like I said the Frankenstein and the regeneration scene that are linked, you know, regeneration is kind of like having a new body, right? And Frankenstein also had a new body. So I mean, it all makes sense. Pretty cool. Pretty cool that they had little details right there. So there you go. The Eighth Doctor needs to stop the Master itself, obviously. And the Eighth Doctor is played by Paul McGann. And to be honest, I'm not going to say this a lot, I, I haven't said this a lot, but I think the 8th Doctor is one of my favorite Doctors. Just because he's so, he is so energetic, like, he is so joyful of the things he encounters. And, uh, like, his TARDIS interior is also with, like, it's kind of like a library. It's pretty basic, but it's like a library, and, and it's pretty huge. And I think, you know, the 8th Doctor's TARDIS, uh, which is a big essential part of the story, his TARDIS interior is really cool. It reminds me of like castles, but also libraries, uh, Roman times, but also some kind of Victorian times. So there we go. So right, the TARDIS is a big piece in this movie because the Master has taken over a new body with uh, some kind of, uh, I don't know, worm-like powers. I don't know, his, <laughs> his essence was turned into some kind of... Um, snake worm thing i don't know it, it took over somebody's uh, you know body which was like an american em emergency ambulance driver or something i don't know so this guy is now the master and the master wants to take over the world i guess i suppose and wants to uh, get the tardis back so there we go the tardis is essentially like the time relative dimension it's a spaceship that the doctor uses to travel with I could probably so just on the TV uh, there, but yeah, the TARDIS, it's bigger on the inside and uh, this power source that the TARDIS has is very, very effective, very powerful uh, because a lot of, you know, a lot of energy comes from the TARDIS, so there we go. 
the master wants to use the energy to actually use the doctor's body to have new lives there we go uh, there we go that's it whilst the master is doing this he also befriends i guess some kind of uh, asian kid which is called lee uh, this lee character uh, was the one who found the dead seventh doctor uh, it was also kind of in that situation there where the seventh doctor appeared uh, just right in front of lee he opens up the door and he got shot so lee is actually the responsible one for the death of the seventh doctor i don't know there you go the seventh doctor was taken to a hospital to a hospital where he regenerates like i said and uh, yeah this lee character gets the things that he found of this seventh doctor he's like the only person that he saw so he takes him to the hospital uh, yeah you know there we go and uh, yeah lee eventually befriends the master and uh, because you know lee has seen the doctor before and the master wants to take over the doctor's body uh, there we go but the doctor also befriends a doctor which is kind of weird which is called the grace and she is an actual doctor but the doctor itself is just he is the doctor bro a definite article right um, so yeah um, that's interesting together you know they try to stop the master the grace and the doctor and because the master has opened up the eye of Har harmony which is like inside the tardis which is like the energy source the world gets a bit weird because the, the doctor can walk through glass for some reason the reality is warping and if they don't stop that the earth is going to be sucked into this tardis which is called the eye of harmony yeah you know it's doctor who shenanigans and uh, life-threatening stuff man it's insane so <laughs> There we go. The doctor eventually stops the master, obviously. The master gets sucked into this high of harmony. But obviously, he doesn't, you know, he, he hasn't gone because, you know, uh, later down the line, at 2000, was it 2007? He is back as the master. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, so that's great, I guess. And the master's still alive. So is the doctor. So, I mean, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really like the Doctor Who movie. It's it's really interesting it's like an american view of like you know the american produced this uh, movie but he was also a doctor who fan which I, I respect but you can clearly see that some american things were introduced here like the gangs uh, the, the gang that eventually shot the seventh doctor san francisco right uh, yeah i mean they joke a bit about the british like you know if, yeah, typical American stuff, I guess. But ladies and gentlemen, I think the Doctor Who movie is really good. And it's uh, it's pretty nice. So if you were to be able to watch the Doctor Who movie, I would, re would really recommend it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Or should I say, Doctor, I let you go. I don't want to.